In today's video, we're going to break down the differences between two incredible dog breeds, the Bull Mastiff and the Rottweiler. Welcome back to the Femria Bull Mastiff Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist. I'm the founder here at FemriaCanineLeaders.com. And this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the incredible Bull Mastiff, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect Bull Mastiff companions. So if you're a lifelong lover of the Bull Mastiff or just getting into the breed, I promise you this channel is for you. So start by hitting that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and you'll never miss a future Bull Mastiff video. And today we're going to take a look into what separates the Bull Mastiff and the Rottweiler. For this video I've broken down the main similarities and differences between these two amazingly powerful guard dog breeds. Now let's jump straight into the video and first we're going to discuss the origins of these formidable guardians because we can't know where we're going with a dog breed until we know where we've come from. So we'll begin with the history of the Bull Mastiff, who originated in the mid-19th century Britain. As its name would suggest, the breed was created by crossing the old English Bulldog and the English Mastiff. Now, contrary to many other breeds, the Bull Mastiff was not designed by dog enthusiasts who wanted to create something new and exciting, but by people in dire need of a better working dog. These breeders were the gamekeepers of the time. Their job was to catch poachers hunting illicit game and to bring them before the courts. Now, the gamekeepers desperately needed a large, powerful dog with a good nose to track down and apprehend offenders until they themselves could get there and arrest them. Now, the breeds available at the time did not quite fit the bill, with the English Mastiff being too slow and docile, and the Bulldog being so aggressive that those poachers likely would never have made it to court in one piece. So, the gamekeepers evidently massively succeeded and created a dog who quickly gained worldwide recognition of one of the best and most powerful guardian breeds on the planet. Now, the Rottweiler's evolution, on the other hand, was a more natural one and reaches further back in time. Back when the Romans crossed the Alps, they brought their large drover dogs with them, dedicated cattle dogs whose job was to drive and protect the animal herds that accompanied the soldiers, serving as food supply whilst travelling. Now, in the decades to follow, these strong herding dogs were crossed with local breeds and their offspring became the base breeding stock for the Rottweiler. Now, over the centuries since, the Rottweiler distinguished itself as an extremely capable in protecting both livestock and its owners from thieves. Now, today, the Rotty is one of the most popular and versatile large guardian breeds on the entire planet. So let's look at the difference in these two breeds' looks. And these two amazing dogs have many commonalities. Both have large, boned and well-muscled bodies covered by short coats, as well as blocky heads framed by uncropped, flopping ears. Now, the easiest way to tell them apart is their colouring. Rotties exclusively clumb in black and tan, whilst bull mastiffs can be brindle, red or fawn. And whilst they both have a marked stop and a relatively short muzzle, only the bull mastiff comes with pronounced jowls and those droopy eyes. The loose skin on its face forms the deep facial folds characteristic for mastiff type breeds. The Rotty neither has the jowls nor the facial wrinkles of the Bull Mastiff. Hey guys, sorry to very quickly interrupt this video, but I just wanted to let you know that we've got a completely brand new quiz over on FemriaCanineLeaders.com all about the best German guard dog breed for you. It's completely free, so whether you're thinking about getting a German guard dog breed and you can't decide which one might be for you, or just out of a bit of fun or curiosity, you want to go and check out that quiz and see which breed that I think would be the best fit for you. So again, there'll be a link down in the description box below. We've got a few quizzes and we're bringing out new quizzes all the time. They're completely free, they're fun as well as hopefully educational and help me help you pick the perfect breed for you. Now bull mastiffs reach heights of 69 centimeters or 27 inches for adult males weighing up to 60 kilos or around 130 pounds and whilst bull mastiffs are classed as a giant breed and rotties only as a large breed the difference in height and weight is not actually negligible. Adult male rottweilers can also measure 69 centimeters again 27 inches and weigh again 60 kilos which is around 130 pounds now as with any breed the females of both are built slightly smaller and lighter so then how intelligent and trainable are these tall and heavy guard dog breeds now quite evidently the rottweiler is the more popular and versatile working dog the breed is commonly used by the police force for roles like man trailing which means finding missing persons by following their scent 
detection dogs or to the apprehension of offenders in police and military roles. A dog of such skills must come with high levels of trainability, and yet the Rottweiler is not an easy breed to train due to its tendency to think and act independently. This stubbornness goes hand in hand with a level of natural aggression quite common in serious guarding breeds like this, which is exactly why Rottweilers are not suited for beginners. To become and remain safe dogs, they need lots of socialisation and the strong leadership of an experienced owner. Now, when it comes to the Bull Mastiff, we are faced with even higher levels of independence and stubbornness. But on the bright side, this dog is far more gentle and mellow than the Rottweiler. Bull Mastiffs absolutely adore their owners and are not prone to attacking them or other people. They are also fairly intelligent and fairly trainable, just nowhere near to the high levels that a Rottweiler is capable of. So this brings us to the temperament differences of these two excellent guard and personal protection dogs who do not need training to defend their owners or their owners' homes. Now, with that said, in the case of a real-life situation, the Rottweiler is going to be much more quick to rise to the occasion. The Bull Mastiff is less aggressive in its natural guarding strategy, and instead of attacking, will usually assume a protective stance, which basically means the dog will put its bulk between its owner and the attacker whilst growling and barking. Whilst wary of strangers, bull mastiffs generally are friendly towards humans and other canines. Rottweilers, not so much, which is why they need very high levels of socialisation and a high level canine leader to keep them safe and under control. Now, when it comes to both breeds' levels of loyalty, devotion and affection for their owners, the bull mastiff is extremely loving and sweet towards their family, especially towards children, which makes them one of the best family guardians on the planet. Bull Mastiffs are excellent house dogs, very calm, quiet and laid back indoors and amazingly measured in their day-to-day -day movements, which makes them less prone to knocking young children over than the Rottweiler might do, who can be rather ruckus and intense. Of course, many Rottweiler owners have raised marvellous family companions, but it takes an experienced hand to really shape a Rottweiler into a perfect house and family dog. So then let's look at the exercise and grooming differences then. And whilst the Bull Mastiff is a very low energy breed that does not need lots and lots of exercise, the Rottweiler requires quite a bit of physical and mental stimulation. Rottweilers should be exercised at least two hours every day. Because of their strongly independent and at times unwieldy nature, it is advisable to combine walks and playtimes with obedience drills. Both breeds thoroughly enjoy play sessions with their owners and nice long walks. The Bull Mastiff just needs a little bit less of everything than the Rottweiler does. Now, in their grooming needs, these breeds are again very similar as they each come with short, smooth coats that are quite easy to keep clean. They require little more than a good brush once or twice a week with a soft bristle brush or slicker brush. Now, outside of shedding season, which is usually in the spring and autumn, both breeds hardly shed and are very easy to stay on top of. Which brings us to the end of our discussion of these two incredibly powerful guardian breeds who do have so much in common. Their intimidation factor is through the roof, and with a Rottweiler or Bull Mastiff in your house, you will never need to worry about burglaries ever again, which is what they are born and bred to do. Now, I hope you enjoyed that quick-fire comparison of those two breeds, and if you did, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit that like button. And again, if you want to see more Bull Mastiff videos, we've got two coming to this channel every single week. So subscribe, turn on that notification bell, because I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femrear Bull Mastiff Show.